Uh. So this video is about to get really nerdy and really comic booky, and if that really cringes you out, maybe you should watch one of my other reviews instead. Okay, thank you, bye. So, after years of speculation and a painfully exciting post-credit tease at the end of Infinity War, we finally get our first look at 2019's Captain Marvel! In some set photos and... and not a trailer. But it's fine! I need the views! So these photos were revealed in an issue of Entertainment Weekly, and first off, can we just appreciate how great Brie Larson looks as Captain Marvel? I absolutely dig this style, this costume, and the way she presents herself in these images. To me, Carol Danvers has always been a character that knows she's powerful. She's not quite Tony Stark or Stephen Strange levels of arrogance, but she does have a fun, cocky side, and that is immediately apparent when we see these images. She looks great in this role, and I am so excited to see more of her over the next few months. The costume looks incredible. Everyone who thought the blue suit was going to be a costume, you were just plain wrong. Obviously, she'll acquire this suit throughout the film, judging by this shot of her and some alien team members wearing blue suits. Whether she'll decide to individualise herself after landing on Earth and meeting S.H.I.E.L.D. by painting the suit and undertaking her own identity, who knows? But it sounds very likely. Coming back to these photos, though, it appears she's meeting with Ronan the Accuser, whose role is being reprised by Lee Pace. What? But we saw Ronan die in Guardians of the Galaxy. How is this possible? What the f***, Marvel? What have you done? Hashtag not my Marvel. Hashtag, okay, hold on, let me just explain. Captain Marvel is a prequel to most of the mainline MCU films. It's set during the 1990s, hence Samuel L. Jackson having two eyes and a dreadful hairline, and hence the Nine Inch Nails shirt. So I'm positive that a lot of you may be unsure to the origins of Captain Marvel throughout the movie, but in her debut comic appearance, Carol Danvers is introduced to us as an experienced fighter pilot, which could explain these photos of her going all Top Gun on the MCU. Blah blah blah, she fell in love with a Kree named Marvel, who's being played by Jude Law. Blah blah blah, and then got herself hunted down by another Kree. Look, it's all very comic book. Anyway, Carol Danvers absorbs a lot of Marvel's genetic code after shielding her from an exploding machine, and this gives her extraordinary powers. And it looks like the film will be staying somewhat close to these origins, but with an extra sprinkle of Feige flakes to help really immerse the film texture within the 20 films that accompany it. For context, when I reviewed Doctor Strange, that was 14 films within the series. What the fuck? So now let's move on to the Skrull invasion of Earth. Wait, what? That's right, baby. Marvel are bringing in the Skrulls to the MCU. And the big reveal? Okay, yeah, I don't like it. I'm just not really a big fan of their design in these photos, it looks cheap and trashy to me. Maybe it will fare better in motion, I mean I am just looking at a picture after all. But it reminds me of a certain someone I think we would all rather forget. Okay look, I know everyone and their frickin' mum has made that joke, just indulge me for once. But despite their <coughs> interesting aesthetics, let's talk about the larger implications the scroll have on the MCU. And if you're not an avid follower of these films or the source material like me, you may be about to have your mind decimated. Scrolls have been known in the comics to shapeshift, and I can almost guarantee that we will see the full extent of this in Captain Marvel, but more importantly, Avengers 4. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! They god! Take this scenario. The Scrolls arrive on Earth in 1990 and do battle against Captain Marvel. Who's to say one of them can't take the form of a S.H.I.E.L.D. member? Who's to say one of them therefore couldn't later on assume the identity of a future Avenger? Some Scrolls are so deep in cover they don't even realise that they're Scroll. Can you imagine if Nick Fury was revealed in Avengers 4 to be a Scroll the whole time and he didn't even know about it? Or what if Iron Man just turned around and was just like, yeah, been a Scroll, And then he just brings the Scroll invasion to Earth, setting the stakes for Phase 4 rather nicely. Okay, yeah, there would be outrage, but I think it would be rather cool. We know Avengers 4 will have elements of time travel, so maybe the Skrulls take that opportunity to assume one of our heroes' identities. It's just a theory, but it could be a really shocking revelation. Captain Marvel releases in early 2019, and I am very excited, as should you be. Hopefully we get a full trailer in the coming months. If you enjoyed, make sure to give the video a like, and hey, maybe even give the channel a subscribe if you're feeling generous. Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram for full written film reviews, and stay up to date with all my shenanigans on social media. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Roll credits!